Hey everybody, it's the Mad Master here. I'm doing a video about the new Slayer reunion announcement and what I think about it. So, here's the deal. I've seen Slayer three times, all with Lombardo and Hanneman, um, from probably about 2003 or four through 2016 or 17. I can't remember when. Uh, I think Lombardo left in 16 or 17. So I've seen him three times. And each time was great. And another thing was, compared to another other big four bands that I've seen, they were actually a lot better uh, live than a lot of even... I'm not going to... Oh, don't have to name names, but... I saw Metallica in 1991. It was awesome. But 1991. Did I say 81? I think I said 91. So I'm not that old, but... You know, I saw Metallica, I've seen Megadeth numerous times, I've seen Anthrax numerous times. For the big four, Slayer was definitely the best live. So, you know, lo and behold, we have this breakup and this acrimony and stuff and all these things to the press. But, you know, some of that could be cooked up by people, uh, PR people too. You ever read, if if you read uh, Ryan Holiday's, uh, what's that book called? Damn it. I'll put it in the screen on the, the, the um, trust me, I'm lying. I'm sorry. So if you read that book, you know, you know about the uh, Tuck, uh, Tucker Max uh, debate, like controversy that was cooked up, you know. So some of these Kerry King, point being, some of these Kerry King statements could have been cooked up to stir the pot just to have people pay attention to Slayer again. Who knows? I don't know. There's a, there, We're living in this weird world now with all this stuff. We don't even know what's astroturfed or cooked up. But anyway, they broke up and they said they wouldn't play together again. They didn't sign a contract like Motley Crue. Um, you know, they didn't do anything that specific like that, which is pretty pathetic, honestly. Um, so what do I think? I'm ambivalent about it, but, you know, I do believe someone must be getting a divorce or something because that money will roll in now. You know, that's usually what happens. Like Guns N' Roses Slash was getting a divorce. That's why partly they reunited and probably Axel owed some people money or you know, Kiss the same way. Eagles, you know, it's countless bands that break up and get back together. Usually when they get back together, there's some money that needs to be made, you know, for whatever debts they have. And it's fine, you know. Maybe in the rarest cases, oh, we just, we reconvened as a band because we met up and we decided to do it again because we're buddies now, you know, or something like that. Iron Maiden, infamously, famously. Now, a lot of people don't talk about this anymore, by the way. Got $10 million to reunite back in 99. So, yeah, it's about money. Uh, will I be going to see it? Probably not, unless there's like a lineup that, I, if, if they do tour, I don't know if they're just doing festivals to test the waters or what. But if they do tour, if it's with some good bands, I'll probably go. It's not, I'm not going to see it as like a reunion Slayer, just like seeing Slayer with any other bands, like the... Like, at least one or two of the times I saw them, you know, with other bands as part of, like, a package tour and stuff. So, I'm not really, you know, I'm not really excited. I'm ambivalent. But I, for anybody to think that's anything less than money that's motivating them, especially after these statements that they don't like each other or whatever, I don't know. But, you know, I've seen them with the original lineup. I'm not going to seek them out or anything. But it's cool they got back together. You know, one thing about this, there's a little bit of a meme going around. A trope going around. And I'm going to state personally, too, that once when they, you know, they were together like 81, 82 through, you know, most of my life, honestly. When they broke up, my life, you know, was going, was starting to go to shit. Like late November, early December of 2019, you know, when they broke up, or the la after their last show, and guess what else happened? All this crazy shit in the world. So maybe they're like, you know, like, uh, scaring off the really bad shit you know from happening in, in the universe or something no it's a joke but i've seen this meme repeated everywhere but anyways that's about all